On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of its pumpkin patch and flies through the air with its bag of toys for all the children. hypnosis and I asked you not to do that.
beautiful girl. He was able to hypnotize you. As if you'd awakened from a horrible dream.
pleasant creatures would be my fellow passengers on the coach. For who could crouch blindly while a legion of croaking, baying entities of unknown source flopped noisily past, scarcely more than a hundred yards away? I thought I was prepared for the worst. Influenced by the shocking writings of... Their forms vaguely suggested the anthropoid, while their heads were the heads of fish with prodigious bulging eyes that never closed. At the sides of the necks were palpitating gills, and their long paws were webbed. They hopped irregularly, sometimes on two legs, and sometimes on four. I was somehow glad that they had no more than four limbs.
give up every hope? In your position, I would say yes.
know only one way to judge a man's brilliance, and that's by the size of his bank account.
song? It was recorded right after Paula Bell died. You understand what I'm saying, right? She was already dead when she sang this. There's no title on the jacket, but this has to be it. The music has bizarre intonation, and the singing is almost disinterested. I heard rumors of its existence. Now I've heard it. <laughs> Music. 
Oh, hey, we're gonna go to the graveyard. Oh, are you gonna do something there? Nah, we're just gonna hang out and drink age-appropriate drinks. Like the juice? Yeah, and whatever. Age-appropriate stuff that's not illegal. Hey, you should come, 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 come.
mad, unreasoning killer. Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? your sanity. Pray it isn't true. The Legend of Hell House.
too early? What do you mean? I mean, it doesn't seem like you're ready to join us just yet. Join you? Yeah, no, I'm just passing through. Folks don't tend to pass through Hotsfield. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's nice here.
like mine would believe a man had returned from the dead. Come face to face with your fears. Come face to face with tales that witness madness. Come face to face with terror beyond your wildest nightmares. Enter an asylum from which you may never escape. Leave all your sanity behind. It can't help you now. Babalu can destroy it. I will destroy it. And you.
shuttered room. One. At dusk, the wild, lonely country guarding the approaches to the village of Dunwich in north central Massachusetts seems more desolate and forbidding than it ever does by day. Twilight lends the barren fields and domed hills a strangeness that sets them apart from the country around that area. It brings to everything a kind of sentient, watchful animosity to the ancient trees, to the briar-bordered stone walls pressing close upon the dusty road, to the low marshes with their myriads of fireflies and their incessantly calling whippoorwills vying with the muttering of frogs and the shrill songs of toads, to the sinuous windings of the upper reaches of Muscatonic flowing among the dark hills seaward, all of which seem to close in upon the traveler as if intent upon holding him fast beyond all escape. On his way to Dunwich, Abner Wadley felt all this again, as once in childhood he had felt it, and run screaming in terror to beg his mother to take him away from Dunwich, his grandfather Luther Wadley. So many years ago, he had lost count of them, and was curious that the country should affect him so, pushing through all the years he had lived since then. The years in the Sorbonne, in Cairo, in London, pushing through all the learning he had assimilated since those early visits to grim old grandfather Waitley in his ancient house, attached to the mill along the Miskatonic, the country of his childhood, coming back now out of the mists of time, as were it but yesterday that he had visited his kinfolk. But nothing could erase that final cataclysmic knowledge seared into his mind, the key to which he had had all along and not known it, the knowledge implicit in his own memories, as well as in the notes Luther Wakely had left, the chunks of raw meat he had childishly supposed were going to be prepared in Ansari's room, instead of to be eaten raw, the reference to R, who had come back at last, after having escaped back to the only home, R knew. The seemingly unrelated reference is also in his grandfather's hand, the missing cow, the sheep, and the remains of other animals, the hideous suggestion clearly defined now in those entries of Luther Waitley's about R's size commensurate with the amount of food, and he must be kept on a careful diet and to a controllable size, like the Innsmouth people, controlled to nothingness after Sarah's death, with Luther hoping that foodless confinement might shrivel the thing in the shuttered room and kill it beyond revival. Despite the doubt that had led him to adjure Abner to kill everything in it that lives, the thing Abner had unwittingly liberated when he broke the pain and kicked out the shutters, liberated to seek its own food and its hellish growth again, at first with fish from the Miskatonic, then with small animals, then cattle, and at last human beings, the thing that was half Batrachian, half human, but human enough to come back to the only home that had ever known, and to cry out in terror for its mother in the face of the fatal holocaust, the thing that had been born to the unblessed union of Sarah Waitley and Rossa Marsh, spawn of tainted and degenerate. There's something wrong with me. I have the ability to kill.
Welcome to Ant Martin King Edward Hotel. Hardly anyone ever checks in. Nobody ever checks out.
kill or we die. There's no other choice.
No. No, Mr. Willis. Not Steve. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Connie, I think we'd better call Sheriff Peterson. Oh, my God. <laughs> Back to the animalistic, the monster that lies within each of us. His heart action is unnaturally fast. I call that a stab in the heart. I'm sorry, is there any music?
does the night child. She will come out of the lake of the lake of the lake. And she must kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us. Doctor, I am already dead. 